Hi everyone, this is Matt Heinrich with Affiliated Control Equipment, and today I wanted to demonstrate how you might be able to use aluminum extrusion in an effort to prevent the spread of germs, uh, especially given the current outbreak of COVID-19. So if you've been to a grocery store recently, you've probably noticed that uh, a lot of the checkout stands have plexiglass in front of them now. Some of them are using duct tape to seam the pieces together. They're using wire to hang them from the ceilings. And we think that we've got a cleaner way to uh, prevent that spread of germs with aluminum extrusion using uh, the MyCAD software. If you're not familiar with the software, we do have a video on our YouTube page kind of demonstrating the basics of it. But for those who are familiar, I'm going to jump in, show how you can build a basic stand uh, as a divider wall with a piece of polycarbonate in there to prevent the spread for workers that might be standing in proximity. Maybe you want to put a wall between them to keep them safe. So you just jump in the software. I'll start by picking the right kind of extrusion. So I'm actually going to use a 30 millimeter, just their basic light profile. Uh, the 30 millimeter should be strong enough to hold up to, or hold up a, a pretty large piece of plexiglass or, or polycarbonate. And you can get pretty simple or pretty complex with it. So I'll start just by making some legs and then actually centers my upright piece and say I want to make it six feet tall. I'll type 72. And for this, demonstration, I'm just going to make a cross piece 36 inches. And again, it's, it's, once you start dragging, let off the mouse and type in, that's how you get the dimension you want. And then on this side, it will snap to the right length. And I'm actually going to click this piece and click stretch. Stretch that guy, and I'm going to just drag this arrow out until it snaps to the length of its opposite piece. Okay, now I need one more upright. So position it there. Again, it'll snap to the same height as its opposite piece once you see the green line there. And then I just drag a piece across. So that's the basic frame. Uh, in order to put in a panel, you're just going to select slot panel. If you zoom in a little bit onto this inner piece, you can see it puts the panel in there for me. It adjusts all my connectors so that they're not interfering with the panel. And that's how you can build a pretty basic divider wall between people. You can make it larger. Uh, if you make it too large, you might have to do a couple different panels, but it'll put the right frame members in there to support that. And you can do other things as well if you want to get a little fancier with it. So if you want to make it mobile, pick a basic caster. We do have quite a few different kinds and go to the bottom and snap a couple of those on there. And that's basically it. So there's a bunch of other things you can add to it. Uh, accessory wise, you can really customize it to meet your need. And it's a really clean looking solution uh, versus using some duct tape and some wire. Uh, people have been getting creative, but I think this is a, a really easy way to design it for protecting your workers. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Affiliated Control Equipment, and we'd be happy to share more.